Hello friends and family, how are you today? I'm sorry my makeup's not um, too right. So today actually it's quite hot outside and I don't want to have all kinds of black, black sweat signs all over my face. So um, I'm sorry, but uh, today I'm gonna talk about um, the um, fraud um, fraud incidents in Cambodia. So the thing is, in Cambodia, um, now that the economy is not not really good. They have um, super good buildings that are em that are empty and don't have anything to do with them. So they started a new business that is frauding, frauding, and scamming people. So there are some uh, Canadian people got scammed for like a hundred. Fifty thousand dollars, or or one point and a half million dollars, some, something like that, and um, so that scamming thing, they they scam the money over, and and then they take those people, they they told those people that their good jobs in Cambodia paying really good, and then. When they arrive in Cambodia, actually those people are gonna get sold to some rich people for their organs. <laughs> you won't believe it. 21st century, that's, that would happen. Yes, yes, that, that's happening. That's happening before current time. This time it was Detected only because they're sca scamming t people from Taiwan, from Hong Kong, from um, from Singapore. So those not not average people from third world country anymore. They um, also uh, they are trying to reach their hand to America. See, at first it's Chinese people, their organs taken out, and their uh, their their women were robbed and and, and forced into marriages and forced into countryside to be to be slaves, sexual slaves, and and then that's the Fdang girls girls from the best university, then their hands reach to all over the world. And looks like they're reaching America. Uh, let's see what they say in some uh, news in, in Taiwan. Um, they're saying that uh, there are some some cheaters who went to Cambodia, try to call people and come to Cambodia to earn big bucks and then get organs take, taken out. They're saying some people don't even want to come back because some people are really, really earning good money out of that. And and now uh, Taiwanese government, they are trying to uh, get these people back. And, uh, and so far, they they said three hundred ninety three people were were scammed to Cambodia. Only thirty nine were were back. Rest of them they don't know where they are. And a 
according to some of the um, medias that some people were their 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 ungodded organs taken out and then they were taken to to the main middle of the sea it's uh it doesn't belong to any any country and then they get gutted and their body tossed into sea so the bottom line in this one is that if anyone's saying you're gonna get paid big bucks come to uh come come to cambodia or southeast asia that's not a good idea they are not gonna pay you big bucks and another thing they want to tell you is they're gonna sell you for big bucks and these people might be um people that you you love that might be your nice classmates. It might be um, people you trust the most because if you don't trust them that much, that um, you wouldn't believe them. And that's how you get scammed. So pay attention. Okay, thank you for, for watching friends and family and sorry again for my luck today. I love you a lot. Um, I'll see you in next one. Bye-bye.